Hi, it's Donna from the Ingalls Memorial Library, and welcome back to Behind the Book Book Talks, um, our weekly series in which I talk to you about a book that I'm either currently reading or have recently read that I think that you may enjoy. And if you think back to last week, I had just started The Red Lotus by Chris Bojalian, which I just barely finished, um, literally, before I came to work today. It was an amazing book. I told you last week I was enjoying it, and as the week went on, I enjoyed it more and more and more. It's a little bit unsettling. It makes me really think about what's going on in the world right now and um, makes me question the things that I think I know about what's going on in the world. And it also makes me a little bit of fearful of what could go on. And it also makes me grateful that what we have is what we have because as I read this book, I thought, wow, it could be a lot worse than this. So I know it's bad. But I felt a little bit better after I read that book, which is strange to say about a book about a pandemic that's based in this country. But enough about that book. Um, again, that's The Red Lotus by Chris Bojalian. So if you like to freak yourself out a little bit, you might want to put that book on hold. So the staff is all back in the library. I'm happy to say we're in providing contactless curbside service. And we're all thrilled that we can finally get books back to our patrons because I know a lot of patrons have really missed them. Um, and Lori has been busy this week setting up displays, which though you can't come into the library, we will be sharing with you electronically. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to kind of show you what we have on display, talk about a few of the books that are on the displays, um, and, and alert you to the spot on our website where you can go and take a look at them and see if you might like to check out one of the books. So the first display that I'm gonna talk about is our summer reading display which is always my favorite display of the year. Um, summer for me is means sitting in a lawn chair with a good book. I, I, my favorite part of summer, I always feel like I have more time to read. I don't have to worry about the shoveling or snow removal. Um, I don't fall asleep the minute I sit down. It's just a perfect time to pick up a good book. And so when the summer reading display comes out, and I typically don't do the displays, my to be read stack grows and grows and grows. So from this display, I selected a book that I've already read, which is called The All-Girl Filling Station's Last Reunion by Fanny Flagg. And when I was a kid, Fanny Flagg was a contestant on a game show that was called um, To Tell the Truth. She was a redhead. She had a great sense of humor. And at some point in her life, she started writing books. And the first one that I had read by her was the... Um, fried green tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. But since then, I've read every single book that she's ever written. And this book tells the story of Suki, who is trying to, like, her the last of her kids has moved out of the house, and she's kind of packing up to downsize. And, and part of that is um, taking care of her mother, who they have kind of a little bit of a uh, strained relationship. And as she's helping her mother get situated, she realizes that she, there is part of her mother's history that she knew nothing about. And that was back in the 1940s when her mom worked at the all-girls filling station. Um, so this is kind of the story about that filling station and a piece of American history that a lot of us don't know about, but it was back during the wars when all the, in the war when all the men were gone and these women took over a, a gas station, which, you know, even in these days, is kind of an unusual thing, but back then was really unusual. And you just fall in love with all of these characters, and you laugh some, and you cry some. It's just a wonderful story. Um, Fanny Flagg writes mainly kind of like, I classify them as Southern fiction. They're always kind of based in the South, but the characters are so well developed, and you really do fall in love with them, as you do with every character in this book. So if you're looking for a light summer read from our summer reading display, I would highly recommend this, The All-Girl Filling Station's Last Reunion by Fanny Flagg. The next display that we have up, we have three this month, is this, which is the Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, um, which is what May is. And this display that Lori built is contains all books that are written by Asian American authors. And from this display, I selected Everything is everything here is beautiful. Um, it's a great title for this time, I think. It just it caught my eye a couple years ago, but I think it's a it's a good title to read now. Everything here is beautiful is about two sisters, um, Miranda, who is the older sister, who lives in Switzerland, and Lucia, who is the younger sister and lives in the states. 
and their mom died and Lucia has um, struggles with mental illness and Miranda takes it upon herself to come over and try to help her sister try to help her get through life to deal with her 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 illness and it's just an amazing story of the sacrifices that Miranda makes to help her sister um, it's just really is a beautiful story a little bit sometimes disturbing but I think it's a great story of the bonds in of sisterhood and family and how much we will do to help our family um, in times of need which I think right now is a is the perfect read for what we're experiencing so again this is everything here is beautiful it's by Mira T. Lee who is an Asian American author and I think you will enjoy it our third display is um, Jewish American Heritage Month and so for this display, Lori chose all books that were written by Jewish American authors. Um, and you may be familiar with the book that I'm going to share from this one. I've shared it with other programs because it's really high on my list of favorite books of all times. And it is The Storied Life of A.J. Fickrey. And on the back of this book, it said, No man is an island and every, every book is a world. And um, it kind of sums it up. So the story of A.J. Fickrey reminds us that books save us from all kinds of sadness and loneliness in our lives. And I don't know, this A.J. Fickrey's wife died and he owns this bookstore and he's kind of lost hope in the world. And then his life changes and and his his the balance is restored to his world. And the thing that I loved about this book is that it goes through... Um, every chapter starts with an excerpt from a novel um, and then the chapter, the excerpt kind of, the theme of the excerpt applies to the chapter and I don't, it's a beautifully written book. Like I said, it's, it's one of my all-time favorites and I've made it a life plan. It's on my bucket list to read every single book that starts every single chapter in this book. Um, it's just a comforting Feel good story, and we all could use those right now. So, again, this is the story life of A.J. Fickery, and it's by Gabrielle Zevin, who has written some other books. All of her books are very different, and all very, I, I haven't read one yet that I didn't enjoy, but this will always be my all time favorite. So, that is my Behind the Book Book Talks this week. And as I said, I will have pictures of all the books that are on these displays that you will be able to find on EnglesLibrary.com. If you'd like to see what Lori's picked for display and maybe check out one of the books, you can always place a hold in our system. Give us a call at the library at 899-3303 or email me, Donna at EnglesLibrary.com, and we will set you up with an appointment so that you can come pick up your books without having contact. So thank you for bearing with us during the total closure, and we're happy to take this first step back to reopening the library. Um, and we hope to see you soon. Take good care. Bye.